enormous impact we have seen what this administration has done in an effort for whatever reason to harm the creation of jobs when it deals with land policy this week the secretary of interior decided to have a time out on new leases of uranium mining which will lose at least eleven hundred jobs the earlier decided to put a halt on the on the development of oil shale projects that could be up to a million jobs a fight the delay on outer continental shelf development that's generally estimated at one hundred sixty thousand jobs that will be lost uh... An effort to stop the timber harvest in western oregon immediately cost another five thousand jobs Mr. Speaker, as we look at what we are doing here, it is very clear that small business and families are struggling today. Republicans have put forth thoughtful, serious alternatives which have been ignored and not even discussed. And it's also clear that the President's economic decisions have not produced jobs, not produced pro prosperity, simply have not worked. It doesn't mean that we're out of options. We can still have a real recovery. If we emphasize and create an environment that empowers small business, empowers Americans, and we focus on job creation, that we stop the attack on the West and other areas of public lands and the people who live there, and allow them to develop the resources that we have been given to create real jobs in this country. We can do that. That is still an option that we have. But we have to do it, and we have to do it together. There are a lot of other examples that I would like to go into, Mr. Speaker, but time does not allow that. Maybe at some other time where decisions by this administration have actually harmed families and their creation of jobs. And once again, we have to change directions. That has to stop. Mr. Speaker, we yield back the balance of our time. Back. Before the House, the following communication.